Hello everyone. In this lesson, we'll be discussing about cogency. What is cogency? It is the quality of being clear, logical, and convincing. It is the quality of appealing to reason and logic. It is one of the principles that we use to evaluate thinking. Let's take few examples to understand what is cogency. Argument one. Operation is successful, but the patient is dead. Argument two: Operation is successful, and the patient is recovering. Among these two arguments, which one is more logical and reasonable? Obviously, argument two is more logical and reasonable, because the operation is successful, the patient has got more chances of getting recovered. Hence, it is a cogent argument. A cogent argument is one that appeals to logic and reason. Let's take one more example. Argument one: Delhi is the capital of India. Raj was born in Delhi, so Raj is an American. Argument two: Delhi is the capital of India. Raj was born in Delhi, so Raj is an Indian. Among these two arguments, which one is logical and reasonable? Obviously, argument two is logical and reasonable, because Delhi is the capital of India, and Raj was born in Delhi. Raj is an Indian; he cannot be an American. Hence, it is a cogent argument. A cogent argument is one that appeals to logic and reason. Let us take one more example. I have good chances of being selected for this job because I am qualified and experienced in the same field. Argument two: I have good chances of being selected for this job. This is because I am in need of a job. Among these two arguments, which one is more logical and reasonable? Argument one is more logical and reasonable. because the one who is qualified and experienced in the same field has got more chances of getting a job than the one who is simply in need of a job hence it is a cogent argument a cogent argument is one that makes rational sense let's take one more example average pass percentage in philosophy course over the last 3 years is below 40% Hence, philosophy course is a difficult course. Argument two: Students often find philosophy difficult to study. Hence, philosophy is a difficult course. Among these two arguments, which one is more logical and reasonable? Argument one is more logical and reasonable because it is giving convincing reasons to say that philosophy is a difficult course. Hence, it is a cogent argument. A cogent argument is one that is clear, logical, and convincing. Let us take one more example. Argument one: All Michael's family members and friends have flu, so possibly Michael might be having flu. Argument two: All Michael's family members and friends have flu, so possibly Michael might not be having flu. Among these two arguments. Which one is more logical and reasonable? Argument one is more logical and reasonable, because when Michael's family members and friends are all having flu, Michael has more chances of having flu than not to have. Hence, it is a cogent argument. A cogent argument is a strong argument with the premises which are true. Now let us go through a summary on cogency. It is the quality of being clear, logical and convincing. It is the quality of appealing to reason and logic. It is one of the principles that we use to evaluate thinking. Cogent arguments make rational sense. Cogent arguments can be explained to, understood and accepted by others. Cogent arguments are strong arguments. These are the arguments with a high probability for the conclusion to become true.